What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was in the process of making a multi-part bathroom renovation with composting toilet and the whole nine yards, the fan switch, whatever, but my steps quit working today. Uh, this is a priority because they're stuck outward. They're not stuck in, they're stuck out, and I gotta go get gas. So, the bathroom is going to be put on pause, and I'm going to read this over. Uh, troubleshoot it. If I can't fix the problem, what I'm going to do is take the motor out, take the brain out, uh, cap off all the power wires, and pull them in and out manually because I've heard so many horror stories about these steps. I have the three step, which would be the 32 series, or double step, 32 series. I do have the manual. Uh, the guy I got this motorhome off of has the manual for everything, which is nice. I mean, I lucked out, I looked through everything, and I did find the manual. So I'm going to do some troubleshooting. Maybe it's a fuse. I mean, it just quit working. There was no squeaking. They were a little loose from wear, but uh, no squeaking, nothing. I mean, I even oiled them when I first got the, the coach. So I'm hoping a fuse just blew. I'll bring a meter down there, and I'm going to test the brain. you got to test the brain to see if it's getting power and to see if it's putting out power. And there's also a light down there. I don't know why they got a light down there, but there's a light down there for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe that's to show that the steps have power. Uh, I don't know. i got to do some troubleshooting. But like I said, if I can't get them going, I'm taking the guts out. And I'm going to make it so I can just pull them in, pull them out. I'll put a little latch lever on it so they stay secured and locked. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let me read over this book here and see if I can find something. That's nice. It's got the step serial number step series and the control unit number that's the brain underneath that's nice uh, those are the name of the steps they're called quickie electric step well in reading some of the troubleshooting here which they go through quite a bit the ground wire could have came off uh, they, of course it's going to be a green wire I'll go down there and check that and also it stated that if the voltage drops be below 12.7 the steps won't operate. Now I have one bad battery up front. Not them ones. Those are my solar batteries. That's my second bank. But another set up there that are all ran off their own. It's a 100 watt panel going in. Uh, so my one bad battery, when I got my fans running everything in here, it only goes to 12.1 with the solar going because of a bad battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off let that battery get up to 14 volts, which they do, both of them they will, there's just nothing in them, and see if that does it. Uh, the other thing is, if, if 30 amps is not getting provided to the steps, then the steps won't work without 30 amps going to them, so I'm going to do a little bit of test here and see what we can do. I mean, they're, they're kind of nice to have, but this is an older coach, I'm not, I'm not putting a dollar into it. If it's a fuse, I'll replace the fuse, or if it's a wire, I'll do all that, but I'm not buying a motor. Uh, the brain is 200 and something dollars for the brain. I'm not buying the brain. I will just figure something else out. So let me do a couple tests here. Turn everything off. Let the batteries charge up and see what we got. See if they work. And also, you can. Uh, there's a magnet in the door. That's how these activate. When you shut that screen door, there's a little tiny magnet inside the jam and inside the door. So when you shut it, they make contact and they tell the steps when to open and when to close. So I'm going to check the magnet, see if that fell off. I hope I can get them working, but if not, it will. Uh, let's see here. 13.4? It only took five minutes to get up there because of the one bad battery. One bad battery makes your entire battery bank bad and it possibly destroyed the other batteries. So uh, I'm killing these batteries. I'm not going to replace one bad battery because then the other one will just kill that one. So I'm gonna get two new batteries here sometime in the near future. I mean, they work, so I'm not gonna, and I do keep an eye on them so they don't boil over. And everything's fused. Pulling in five, six off a 100 watt panel. Not too bad, I guess. Let's try that door, see if it works, see if that was the problem. Well, I shut the door and it didn't do nothing. So I'm guessing it's the brain. I'm not going to pay 200 and something dollars for a new brain, that's that's for sure. Uh, let's flip some switches here, rig wiggle some wires around under there, see if I can get this thing going. I need gas. Can't get gas with my steps hanging out. Well, that didn't do nothing. Here's the magnet on the side of the door. The other one should be over here somewhere. Uh, right there. 
there's the other bag now. So that's there. Huh. This sucks. I gotta get my bathroom done. Always problems. Oh, not problems, but I guess it's an old coach. Well, somebody's done some work to this because they got the on-off switch upside down. I don't know why. Because huh. it's this switch here. It's upside down. Well, it's definitely not the power source because I just showed you I had 13.4 in there and they need 12.7 in order to run. Uh, I'm, I'm, put, I'm guessing the brain went or the motor. I'll read the manual though, see if I can find something else. Find out where the fuse is at. Should say in here somewhere where the fuse is. There's a picture of the steps themselves. There's a battery. There's the motor assembly. There's the control unit. I'm thinking it's that. Uh, and I do have a light under there. Uh, that indicates your steps on, on what they do. It'll dim and bright up. I had to read a manual to figure it out. But I'm not getting into that. Uh, the light does have power. I can line up underneath there and the light is on. Use your different type of magnet switches on, on the door that activates the steps. They say this is a, like a, could be a main problem, but they're both there. Maybe I'll take this apart and see if that wire, I'll run a continuity check on that wire. But I'll have to find out where it goes to see if it's making connection. Yeah, here's another diagram of it. That's the one that I have there. Those are your other models. 5 amp maximum fuse or circuit breaker recommended, not supplied. Oh, this is an instruction manual to put it together. So where is the fuse at? It's just saying, there's the power switch. Uh, there's another fuse there. Hmm. Uh, 25 amp fuse, breaker, strongly recommended, not supplied. <laughs> people that built the coach though I mean they supply all this stuff these are just parts I mean they buy the parts for a Winnebago or anything you get and then they assemble it together they assemble it this is why you get separate manuals when you buy a motorhome that's why it's showing the, you know what's not supplied what is supplied but I gotta find them fuses so you got a 5 amp and then there's gonna be a 25 amp and another 5 amp I gotta find them I don't know why the fuse blow. But there's the chassis ground, which is going to be a green wire. So I'll look for that green wire and wiggle it around. I'll read over this thing a little bit more. There's another diagram. I've got to find them fuses. I wonder where they put them. Uh, I don't think they would put them up in, under the coach. Well, they might. So open my hood up and look around. I'm sure it's not labeled. I'm not spending too much time on this. Because I've heard so many horror stories about these steps that they always break. I don't want to deal with it. I will pull them in and out manually. I have no problem doing it. I just have to remember that they're not extracted if I'm leaving. Break my leg. Put a, I'll put a giant sign on my door that says, Watch your step to remind me. <laughs> There's the other diagram. Jeez. Oh, step motor assembly this guy was really into detail I mean he wrote everything down which is good but I'm not going to use any reference numbers because I'm not buying nothing for him that's the linkage assembly if I do my steps manually this is good to have because I'm taking all this apart so they move in and out by themselves I just got to make a secure latch to keep them latched and drive them down the road and there's another diagram of everything showing them fuses I gotta I'm gonna climb under there See what I can get. I'm gonna eat me some cold pizza first. Yum. Well, here we go. I'm gonna climb under there. The pizza was good. It's kind of neat living by a throughway though, because people in other motorhomes are always honk. So if you hear a bunch of honking, <laughs> it's other people in motorhomes. They see me standing out here. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's, a, it's I guess it's a big happy traveling family. Do other people that drive motorhomes wave at each other like motorcycles do? Huh, I wonder. But anyway, let's get back to the subject here. I gotta climb under there. Ground's still wet, damn it. So I gotta go find a board, climb under there. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck. I gotta get a voltmeter, check continuity, check the green wire, uh, take the plug off the brain, see if there's power coming out of the brain, see if there's power going into the brain. 
Uh, make sure that light still works. But I think what's going to happen is I'm pretty sure it's the brain. Because there was no squeaking from the motor or nothing. Uh, like I said, again, I'm not paying $260 for a brain. It's not going to happen. Uh, steps, they do move. See how they're moving? So. And I greased everything up. But. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to go find a board to climb under there. To move my brick. That's why I have the brick in, this, in those there. Because they go down. Things get wore out. Well, here I am under it. The first thing I noticed is my wire was disconnected for that light. Now, I wonder if they won't work without that light being on. That light indicates everything's getting power also. Uh, there's my green, there's the ground wire. Ground wire is hooked up. There's the motor. Motor looks in pretty, pretty bad shape. I guess if I wanted to keep the steps but take out the mechanism, I guess I'd have to get rid of that right there. And then the steps should be able to move by, by my hand, I think. Kind of looks that way. But I'm going to try that. Maybe that was the problem. So I'm going to go back up there and unplug everything and let my batteries get up to like 13 and a half, 14 volts. And try them again because this little wire right here was disconnected and whoop, it just went out again I mean, I'm gonna fix that here when I have two hands but there it goes but now the light is on you be careful with these steps if you got your arm up in there and the switch is off it'll rip your arm off geez but well, I'm gonna give it a try again see what happens climb up underneath this dang thing again if this don't work and I'm going to test these wires here. Uh, I'll test these wires here. There is a connection here. Then I'll take this off. And there's another ground wire. That's the same one. Okay, that wire is... That, that ground wire is going over there. Okay. And then it comes back out. So that's the chassis ground. And that's connected. Turn a light on here for you guys. Chassis ground connected was all over here. That's, look at that wire. It's not even taped. Jeez. You can see it. I know it's only a ground, but. Well. So I'm going to try the steps. If it don't work, I'm going to get my voltmeter and take that apart. This little piece here and start sticking my probes in there and see if we got power going to the unit. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here to the motor and I'll see if there's power going to the motor with the switch on. Well, no, that wouldn't really make a difference because there's only going to be power when the brain turns it on. I think it's the brain. That's the brain. They want $240 for one of them. I'm not doing it. So, I'll we'll go my voltmeter and I'll be back in a half a second when I get done doing everything. I'm not going to film it. I just explained what I was going to do. I'm not spending hours with this thing. If uh, if I can't get it going, I'm taking that bolt out. Probably that bolt. And seeing if I can move these steps manually. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be back. Well, that did nothing. I tried it with the light. With that wire off the light. Nothing. I took everything apart. Everything seems to be getting power. The brain's getting power to it. So, I'm guessing it's the motor of the brain, and I'm not paying for none of it. So, I'm going to climb under there and make my own steps. Boy. Well, this should be everything I need. I get a, I carry a toolbox around. I got a lot more tools than this in this thing, but this is your basics. It's good to have. Just going to throw this in there. You know, good to have your tools that you need all the time in here, because my, my big set is in the basement. I got a whole bunch of tools. But let's climb underneath this damn thing. I try to get everything I can. Now we have to keep climbing underneath it. The ground's wet and muddy. Tracking mud in my house. But let's get this done. Well, it looks like if I if I take that armature off right there, the steps should move freely. They should. I hope. 
because if they don't, I'm going to have to take my steps out. And I want steps, but I don't want to be paying for them. I'm not paying for it. So let's take that bolt off right there and see what happens. That one right there. Actually, there's a Carter key back there. Pull that Carter key out. Slide that pin out. Well. Voila! I can move them myself. Good. Now I got to try to devise something that a bracket or something to hold them out and hold them in. Uh, I don't have any steel here. I can't even get them to go all the way up in there. Why not? Oh, that arm's in the way. That's why. Because it goes that way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it might work. Well, I gotta figure something out here. Guys, I can't have to drop it down like that. I'm driving down the road. Something bad would happen. Let's go do some brainstorming. I think first I should disconnect some power wires here. Uh, I'll probably pull that wire and I'll pull the ground wire, tape them up. That way nothing's getting power down here. I think that's a good idea. Yep, got it all buttoned up. Got that zip tied up. Killed all the power to that unit, which is good to do. And I uh, went through and taped up all these connectors. I don't want water getting in there. And now I gotta go make something for this for these steps. Alright, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a clamp back here for now because I don't need to use these all the time. And when I go places, I'm there for a while. This is the easiest way. I'm just going to put two big clamps around those, probably giant hose clamps. It'll hold that armature up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here and then drill a hole here. Not anytime soon. I'm not doing it today. i got to get my bathroom done and make this stationary because then this won't move at all. So I'm gonna run down to the hardware store. Get some get some giant clamps. Well, that's what I got here. Strap, strap it up. It'll be good. Uh, I'll fix it later on down the road. I don't need them right now. I got to get other things done. Uh, I probably could have troubleshooted that and found out the real issue of it, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, I guess this is much of an educational video. I guess this is just a, how to make things work for now. <laughs> Little ingenuity, jack, jack it up, wrap that strap around it. Be good for now. Well, there you have it. I got one on that side and one on that side. It's pretty sturdy. Really sturdy. Yeah, it's just temporary. If I got time to actually want to mess with it. I don't really want to. Don't care. I don't need steps. But I got temporary steps. So, uh, yeah, it works. I mean, I gave you a little bit of basic knowledge on how to troubleshoot them. You got to test your power, coming in, going out, look for the fuses. But I, I don't want to do that. I don't care. I got other things that are more important on my end. So, uh, like, subscribe, guys. Uh, many more. I'm going to start finishing up the bathroom. That's what I got to finish. That's what I'm going to hurry to do. And my solar. So, like, subscribe. I will uh, see you in the next vid. Later. Have a good day.